Kijk uit, op beide mensen rolt hebben en protect jezelf van altijd, oké? Touch glas, you want, take a step back. It's a fight 13 years in the making. The trilogy, the final round, happens here tonight. Glory, collision four, Bader Hari versus Take. Alistair Overeem. Here we go. I predict this first round being very wild. As Overeem starts opening up. Big right hand, and that sent Overeem back. Bader Hari's explosive counter punches. What we gotta watch out for. Over and trying to switch stances, big clubbing shots. But he seems open for counter punches, Joe. Yeah, I mean, Overeem's trying to switch his stance, come inside and throw the overhand. Let's see what Bader has here. It's been over a decade since Overeem's been in a professional kickboxing match. Ooh. Many of these gentlemen fight. You just hold your breath at every exchange. Break! 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 break. Overeem promised break. to put the final nail in break. Botter's coffin tonight. Overeem, very confident fight week. Got off balance a little bit. Botter punishes him. Overeem just doesn't look comfortable, does he? I think he's still figuring himself out, but Botter's just trying to catch him coming in. Maybe a nice uppercut for Botter could be an option. Yeah, he tried it there. But those unorthodox shots from Overeem are pretty tough because he's putting his head down and throwing over. I haven't seen a kick yet from Alistair. I saw, I think, one low kick so far. But I think Botter's kicking game could be good for him, too. One of the best left kicks as a heavyweight. You wonder how Overeem will react to the first big, heavy punch that Botter lands. Yeah. Botter's good with his jab and his combinations. Also has really good left hooks to the body. Oh, big low kick. Botter put all of himself into that one. But Overeem's high guard shell is blocking a lot of those punches. There's that inside fighting for Overeem. He's got good knees in there. He mixes them with his punches. Watch out for the knee. Yeah. Fight! Good straight punches from Botter. Another low kick. Yep, good timing from Botter, trying to catch him coming in. But a little unorthodox style here from Overeem, trying to bring a little of that MMA style in. Overeem just trying to off. muscle him off, it seems. High guard pressure, make him uncomfortable, force him to use some energy, but Botter's trying to catch him, he's getting close. And compose is Overeem. For the first time in their three fights, we've got the end of a round. Yep. Bader Hari, obviously a former K1 heavyweight champion. It's Showtime heavyweight champion. And right now, he's more known for being a dad. Has five kids. Alistair Overeem, one of the most decorated combat sports legends. MMA world titles, kickboxing world titles, all at the same time. Signature strike, those knees on the inside. That's how we got it done in their first fight. We're trying to be a little bit more unorthodox here. Remember, scheduled for three. All five judges scoring that for Botter. Overeem trying to find his way in with that head down, Joe, so dangerous. Yeah, he's dipping his head down to, to give the overhand. But there's that body ripping from Botter. Uh, oh, low kick. Right below the belt.
He'll get a couple minutes if he needs it. Verbal warning to Alistair. There's a low kick from Alistair. Boy, it almost knocked Bonner down. Those big legs hitting you. Ooh. Oh, another big low kick from Potter. Yeah, that hurt over him. Over and just can't seem to figure Potter out. But you can see, oh, big punches in the inside. I was going to say, I think Botter respects Overeem's power. He's not going wild when he starts throwing. He picks his shots, goes back to a high guard. He knows that Overeem wants to counter punch. High kick there from... Over him. And still in that unorthodox style with him forward. It just looks clumsy, doesn't it? Yeah, I think it's that inside pressure, though. I mean, you can't just stand there with Botter. We've seen Botter in the past winning fights, Joe, even dominating fights, and then one shot out of nowhere ends the fight. Yeah, but this is what I say. After he's hitting now, you see him resetting and getting his defense back up. He'll hit, come back to... Good guard composure. He's not swinging and keeping his hands out. Hit right back to upstairs, high guard. Right hand from Overeem just misses. Potter dominating this fight statistically. Break, step back, step back. This is a 42-year-old Alistair Overeem who's basically brand new to kickboxing again. But he knows he has the power if he can land that one big heavy punch. That and he uppercut, does. That uppercut sent Potter's glove to the ground. The referee does not call it a knockdown. Biggest punch of the fight. Let's see what Overeem does here. Does Potter open up now? You see Overeem ready for a big clubbing punch. Joe, that may very well have been a knockdown. Yeah, could have stole the round, too, because of that one big shot. He wasn't doing much before the big shot. Potter Hari fans happy so far. You see Potter really working the body, trying to go upstairs, over and really coming in. That was a nice low kick timing from Potter, but on that inside, boom, boom nice slide up uppercut. Nice close range. Hard to see the, well, you can see left hook, and it just, boom, pops up right on the chin. Watch the gloves. Down, one glove touch. Yeah, it could be a, a flash. So here we go. The official final round. The official final round of the final round. One judge gave it to Overeem. Botter's combinations, his level changing. Step in jab, almost a run in jab from Alistair. Step back, step back. So looking at the scorecards, if Botter Hari avoids disaster here in the third, he's going to win. But rarely has he avoided disaster over the past few years, Joe. Yeah, especially if his emotions get in. And he's that natural fighter who just wants to keep fighting and coming back. Oh, big hit. It looks like a jab. I don't know if you'd call it that because Alistair sticks his arm out and runs right into the batter's face. Yeah, it's a little bit more unorthodox style of jabbing, trying to cut off line. Digging the body with Botter with the left. Over and tried the lap, the low calf kick there. 
That's what I feel over and needs to do on the inside. Just keep throwing his hooks and uppercuts. Easier said than done. Oh, right hand from Alistair. Two of them. And then a knee. Big right again from the ring. Potter's in trouble. Potter's out. The count two. should be a hey. five. Why is he a two? Why three. is the referee a three? Four. He should be an eight. Five. How you doing? Six. Seven. Eight. I don't know. I don't know. Here we go. Five. Can Alistair Overeem finish? Can he put the final nail in Butter's coffin like he promised to do? He's got him on the ropes. A minute to go here in the Netherlands. It's legend. Oh, yeah, that right hand. Legend versus legend, and he's down again. Incredible! Three, four, five, five, six, seven, eight. Ah, arm, arm. He's up. Five. He's got 40 seconds to survive. Let's see what the demolition man can do. Butter wincing in pain. He's fighting back. Big right hand for Butter. Get Butter. He's still swinging. He's going to go out on his shield if he has to. Incredible endurance here for both of these fighters. Botter back on his feet after two knockdowns. Ten seconds to go. Does this put it to an extra round is what I'm thinking now with two knockdowns. Alistair steps out of the fray. And that will do it. Let's go to the judges' scorecards. I... Super lame. I'm so sorry. I could have done better than that. So today I want to make him at least. Good shot. Well, that kick landed the body beautifully placed right underneath that elbow. Let's see if he makes the adjustments now defensively to avoid opening up that mitts.